time on time rates, water is flowing into a conical cistern of at the rate of 8 meter cube per minute. If the height of the inverted cone is 12 meter and the radius of its circular opening is 6 meter, how fast is the water level rising when the water is 4 meter deep? Okay, so... Uh, kailangan natin, syempre maintindihan natin yung problem and kung ma-drawing ulit, kailangan i-drawing natin. So, uh, nagpo-flow daw yung water sa isang conical cistern. So, cistern is a kind of tank. Okay? So, may rate na 8 meter cube per minute. So, that is the volume flow rate. Or, pwede na ulit natin sabihin dv over dt. Okay? So, drawing muna natin. Pero sabi dito, if the height of the inverted cone, so, yung, yung cone pala is inverted. So, drawing tayo ng cone na inverted. Okay. Meron pala dito. Ayan. Okay, that is cone. Inverted cone. Okay? Ayan. So, the height of the inverted cone daw is 12. Okay? Sabihin natin, this is the height is 12 meter. Okay? Uh, and the radius of its circular opening is 6 meter. So, the radius of the circular opening is 6 meter. So, how fast is the water level rising when the water is 4 meter deep? So, sabi natin nagpo-flow daw yung water dito sa cone. For example, meron tayong pipe dyan. Then, lumalabas yung water dyan. Ang, ang flow rate daw natin dyan is 8 meter cube per minute. So, yan yung given, isang given natin, 8 meter cube per minute. So, sabi natin, pag may naita tayong rates na pay per minute, so that is already a derivative. So, that is volume, that is derivative of volume per unit of time. So, tabi lang natin yung given na yan, dahil baka gamitin natin. Okay? Ang um, tanong, how fast is the water level rising? If the, when the water is 4 meter deep. Okay? So, syempre, dahil um, nagpo-flow yung water dyan, nagkakaroon tayo ng alaman ng water dito. Okay? So, gaano daw kabilis tumataas yung height ng water dito sa loob ng cone? So, we, we let this as a small letter h. So, kung yan yung height ng... Um, height ng water sa loob, and ang hinahanap natin is gaano kabilis tumataas yung water sa loob ng tangke, so that is, uh, the required will be the height per unit of time, okay, which is uh, the uh, derivative of height ng water with respect to time. So, ito yung uh, hinahanap natin. So, gaano kabilis tumataas yung water dyan sa cone na yan. Okay? So, ayan. So, dahil, ayan, cone din to, meron din dyan radius na isa. Okay. So, sabihin natin, ito, uh, malaking radius na lang, capital R, kasi ito yung malaking opening, and this is small letter R. Okay. So, we get the uh, volume ng water dito sa loob. That is cone pa rin naman. So, the volume nung cone is uh, equal to what is the volume of cone? 1 third pi r squared h. Okay? And uh, sabi natin, pag nagawa tayo ng, uh, ng formula, i-derivative na natin both side with respect to time. Pero kung titignan nyo dito, ilan yung variable natin? Meron tayong volume, meron tayong radius, meron tayong height. Okay? So, dapat uh, at least two ano lang, variable lang, volume or height lang, volume or radius lang.
So, dapat makakuha tayo ng uh, uh, value dito for R ng relationship para makakuha tayo ng value ng R. Okay? So, paano natin kukunin yung value ng small letter R? Ang gagawin natin is by uh, ratio and proportion. So, pwede natin sabihin the total height of the cone over the uh, radius of the opening of the cone is equal to the height of the water over the radius of the water sa loob. Okay? So, that is a proportionality. So, substitute natin yung height na 12 meter and radius na 6. That is H over R. And then, uh, solve for R. R is equal to 6H over 12 or H over 2, 1 half H. Okay? So, yan. So, dahil meron na tayong R na half ng, ng H, substitute natin yung R dito ulit sa volume ng cone. So, balik tayo sa volume ng cone. So, volume ng cone will be 1 third pi. R is H over 2 squared times H. So, simplify muna natin bago natin i-derivative with respect to time. So, pi over 3 uh, times H squared over 4 times H. So, simplify pa natin. So, that is pi over 12 H cube. Okay? And then, derivative na natin both sides with respect to time. So, V is 1. So, derivative of volume with respect to time is equal to ayan, pi over 12 times 3 h squared derivative of the height with respect to time which is ito yung inahanap natin ito yung required di ba dh over dt gaano kabilis uh, tumataas yung height sa loob so yan yung uh, required yan yung solve natin so by arranging or simplify muna natin pala to cancel 3 magiging 4 na lang to Okay, so, dh over dt is equal to yan, dv over dt over uh, pi over 4h squared. Okay? So, meron na tayo ulit na dv over dt. Yan, ito na naman sa given. Okay? And then, h. Ano ba yung h natin dyan? Sabi, when the water is 4 meter deep. So, when h is 4. So, gaano daw kabilis yung pagtaas? When the height of the water is 4. So, by uh, substitution, dh over dt equals, uh, dv over dt is 8 meter cube per uh, minute over uh, pi over 4, then h is 4 squared. So, that is meter squared, meter squared. Cancel. May matitirang isa. So, that, that, dahil height lang yung hinahanap natin, that is meter per minute ang magiging unit. So, by calculating uh, 8 over pi over 4 times 4 squared. So, that is uh, the rate of the height per unit time or derivative of the height with respect to time is equal to 0 0.6366 0 0.6366 uh, meter per minute. Okay? So, yan na yung answer natin for the problem.